Hello YouTube, this is a new deer painting video. Well, this is my first deer painting video. But anyway, it's got uh, contact paper here. We have cut out a silhouette of the deer. And uh, this is on 18 by 24 inch stretch canvas. I'll be using my uh, acrylic craft paints, uh, apple barrel. This is uh, white, black, brown oxide, raw sienna, and bright yellow. I figure those will be some good colors to make for the deer. So, uh, feel free to use whatever colors you want to paint your deer in, or whatever you're going to paint. This is just a video to give you an idea of what you can do with the contact paper. I I already did one, but I thought I'd try another one. The only thing I did different here on this video than the other one was instead of uh, drawing out the outlines and then putting the contact paper over it, I'm going to just have this silhouette here and paint in the shapes and just paint the deer. And then um, once it dries real good, then I'll take the contact paper that I have cut the shape out for and I'll put that over the deer and then take this off or take that off first and then put the other paper on there that's cut out here and then I can paint the background and I, I'm thinking I might even have back up in here I might have like a cabin or something I think well we'll see what happens I'm just gonna worry about the deer right now so first thing I want to do is just kinda give everything a nice tint here and any kind of small brush will do. I have this um, little angled shader I just kind of like to, to paint with. So I don't have nothing sprayed here this time. It's just a dry canvas. And this is just to give... Um, say I don't want to worry... I'm not going to worry about the antlers right now. I just want to get in a basic shape here. For the uh, a basic tone for the deer, I mean. So it's nothing too fancy. Uh, uh, this is all just experimenting for me. I really don't have that much experience doing paintings like this. I have a feeling it'll come out eventually, but it might take several tries. To, to tone the deer. I'm not looking for anything specific. Here. This is just kind of the underpainting. So we have a little something to work with here. And we put on darks and highlights and kind of help give it shape a little easier, I think, when you tone your canvas or your subject. Trying to make sure it isn't uh, it's as smooth as I can get it. And just want a nice, smooth, even color as best I can get here. Try to follow the shape of the deer a little bit. Probably be good. This is based off another painting I did, a digital painting, but um, I'm not looking at it right now, I'm just going by my mind's eye, which is probably the hardest thing to paint from. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of, I haven't used this paint in a while, so it's kind of gotten old and some hard bits in there. I should probably quit where I'll 
with just that tone. I don't know. I just had that urge to keep going. <laughs> so I guess I'll just darken it up some more. Try. And you can see where I put this tape over here just to kind of patch up bits that I cut. That's what you have to do if you use scissors. If you have an X-Acto knife, you, put, you won't have that trouble. You'll be able to zip along through the whole piece and get in all them little bits there and all them little hard-nosed turns and sharp turns. It's a little hard to do with scissors, so you have to kind of cut here and here and it makes it a little easier to work with. But then you just patch it up when you're done. Obviously this isn't looking too good right now. Probably pretty boring to watch, I imagine, also. But hopefully it'll pay off. And you can always skip ahead. I'll be uh, offended if you do. I understand. This isn't like very exciting. <laughs> This gives me a chance to play around before I get too serious. You know, I see it's easy, you know, you can just that's why you got the contact paper up there. I mean look how messy I am. I mean I'll get a little more detailed down the road, but right now I'm not that worried about it and that's what makes it this easier, you know. And if you just start going up and making painting on the canvas like that, you know, and you're trying to be so neat and perfect. I don't know. No. I'm going to run out myself out of paint here. That's alright. Yeah, funny how it just don't want to stick and it builds up in the spots. It's acrylics for you. some character. It'll make it my own. Even if it's not the way you're supposed to paint. I don't believe in that. I think everybody's got to find their own way and that's the right way. There's no right or wrong, just your own way. And, uh, you know, it's got a lot of different texture in there and we we'll really we worry about that later on after this dries a little. And, uh, well, I got a bunch more paint here it's built up on my furl. Let's grab that. I wanted to darken up a few spots here. Yeah, not really a lot going on for what almost ten minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and come back after.